Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm here to talk about Rob Edwards. What does he need to do to improve things at Luton Town? Because whether you are Edwards in or Edwards out, we can all agree that what we're seeing on the pitch isn't the Luton team which we know of. Compared to last season in the Premier League where we saw a team that showed a bit of fight, that was absolutely devastated after a defeat, we're completely seeing the opposite of that now. And we're doing that in a division below. In today's video, I'm going to bring up some talking points about what Edwards needs to do. I'm going to put my opinion to one side because you guys know, if you've been watching the last couple of videos, that I am currently Edwards out. But my opinion can change. And yeah, and just discuss in a little bit more detail about those talking points and also talk about the rumours from last night. And those rumours from last night was that Edwards resigned as Luton Town manager. So for rumours to start appearing, something must have been said, whether that was behind the scenes or whatever. You know, rumours like that come from somewhere. So... I do think after the defeat against Sheffield United, a conversation has happened behind closed doors. Now, whatever that conversation was, I am pretty sure it was supporting Edwards because the board gave him a four year contract for a reason. And they believe that he can change things around. And by the looks of things as well, from when the rumors got squashed because Luton Town posted a picture of Edwards at the training ground doing what he what he does. A lot of fans, I think, realise actually, despite me being Edwards out, I actually felt kind of bad. I was a bit upset, and I've now maybe slightly changed my mind. I saw a lot of posts like that across both Twitter and also Facebook, and I'm wondering if that's kind of hopefully reunite the fan base a little bit and get behind Edwards because look despite me wanting him to leave and I don't think he's capable of improving things I actually do want him to improve things I do actually want things to get you know ch change at the club I do want to start winning games of football you know sacking a manager you, you kind of you do write off the season in a way because you don't know what's going to happen when a new manager comes in because he has their well whoever comes in have their own ideas they want to bring their own players in and that takes time it all takes time we have to give the new person time whereas now we can look at the man that got us to the premier league and look at him again and go can you get us back there can you improve on what nathan jones was doing in the championship that's what we want to see but what we're currently seeing on the pitch is a team that's not really fighting for the badge. A, a team that's not being a team, actually. I don't think they are being a team. And what I mean by that is, I don't think they're defending as a team. I don't think they're attacking as a team. And I'm going to reference Oxford in this. Oxford, when we played against them, now, okay, we got a 2-2 draw against them. But our goals only came from individual mistakes by Oxford. We just took full advantage of that. We showed our quality when it mattered the most and got the two goals there. However, Oxford, despite those mistakes, kept their heads up. And that's the one thing which we're not doing. When we go 1-0 down away from home or if we go 1-0 down at home, I'm seeing automatically heads drop. We now need to see some leaders. We still currently have a few players at the football club that were signed by Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones signed players that had good attitudes, good leadership skills, and I think that those, I guess, traits, we still look to sign as a football club even since Nathan Jones has gone. And we're not seeing that leadership. So I'm asking players like Reese Burke, like Clark, like Morris, like Bell, like Adebayo, like Pelly, these players to step up now and show some leadership because what I'm seeing on the pitch isn't leadership at the moment. It's heads dropping, sulking sometimes, whether they didn't get the right move or not. 
we need to keep we need to bounce back okay if a goal goes in right how do we react we need a reaction that's what i want to see the next game for Luton is is one of the most important games of the season. It's a derby game. It's against Watford. You can't afford to show no fight. You can't afford to lose the ball and not win it back from the team. You can't afford to do that. Not against Watford, you can't do that. Because the fans will be on you. The fans will be more on the players in a derby game than they would be on a manager. Because the players have got to show the fight, have got to put the performances in. And raise their standards as well. So, what does Edwards need to start doing? For me, he needs to strip it back and go back to basics. I think that's what we need to do. When you look at teams that have a good season in in any league, whatever they're in, they are built on a very good defence. Good goalkeeper. We've got a good goalkeeper in Thomas. You know, one of the, the best shot stoppers in the league. And without Thomas... You know, we would have conceded a hell of a lot more goals. You know, I, I can't imagine the amount of goals we would have conceded. But then the defence in front of him, what that needs to be. I don't care if it's a three. I don't care if it's a five. I don't care if it's a four. As long as you do the basics right, I don't care. As long as we're not putting ourselves into trouble, I don't care what formation we use. I've seen us win promotion playing at back four. I've seen us win promotion in a back three. It can work. Teams do it in other leagues. Italy, it's very common. Italian teams are very successful at doing it. Bayer Leverkusen under Alonso also play with a back three. You know, and I do understand that formations do change when you're in possession and also out of possession in a more tactical aspect. But I'm not a tactical analysis and I'm not going to go into that, that amount of detail. But my point is, formation, I don't really care. However, I do care if we are going to play out from the back, we've got to be better at doing it. At the moment, we are one of the worst teams in the division at passing out from the back. So that tells me we need to go long a little bit more. We need to, because our goalkeeper can't do it. Thomas isn't the best passer of a goalkeeper. So what does he need to do? He needs to go long. And when he does go long to the players like Adebayo, who for me is one of the most unpredictable strikers in the division because you don't know what he can do. We have got to be there for when the ball drops. And what I mean by that is defenders will win 80% of their battles in the air. They will win that they will win that aerial battle. However, 20% of the time, Adebayo may win it. And that's what we need to counter on. In fact, we need to counter on whatever happens. We need to win those second balls. We need to win those third balls. We need to win those fourth ball, the, the fourth ones. Whatever battles, we need to be winning, winning those, is what I'm trying to say. And the quicker we get the ball from one end to the pitch to the other, that's when we can start playing our football. That's when we can have a lot of creative freedom, be expressive in the attacking third. What I've noticed is, so far at the start of this season, is we're being too slow. It's too reactionary. It needs to be proactive. It needs to be, the tempo's got to be higher. We've got to move it quicker. To get the end of the day, teams score goals by getting the ball from one end to the pitch to the other as quick as possible. That's how opportunities happen. That's how chances happen. And in the Premier League last year, that's what we saw. We saw the ball go from one end to the pitch to the other. However, we can't play how we played last season because of two players in particular. One, Lukonga, who did such a good job defensively. And the other in Barkley, who we all know, attacking-wise, was absolutely vital in the way we play. We were never going to replace Barkley. lukonga has gone to play in La Liga. Two very difficult players to replace, and we're very lucky to have those two players at the time of when we did. I'm sure in a few years' time, we'll be talking about those two players and how well they worked together in a midfield partnership during a relegation season. I'm sure we're going to talk about that. But we couldn't replace Barkley, which is the main point. We brought in a player that can do similar things. Not to the same level, but similar in Baptiste. Great dribbling ability, great passing ability. But we're never going to get to the same level. So that means we've got to change up a little bit. That means we've got to do things slightly different. I understand Edwards wants to be braver on the ball and be more exciting, be front-footed. I understand that. 
but you've got to do the basics right. We have got to stop teams creating so many opportunities. We have got to stop being isolated at the back where our centre-backs are defending against a winger because the winger's got in behind the full-back and other teams' attacking players have attacking freedom to cause us all sorts of problems. Since we've played Millwall, Sheffield Wednesday, Oxford, Plymouth Argyle and Sheffield United, we look like we could have conceded five goals in every game. That's not me being over dramatic. That is just looking at the chances which other teams have had. I'm surprised Sheffield United didn't beat us by more than two goals. In fact, we're lucky that Thomas was in goal for that. So we've got to stop that out. We have got to be hard to beat. We've got to show some fight. We've got to set up correctly. That's what we need to start doing. And that is going back to the basics. We need to communicate well with each other. Once we start getting clean sheets, I'm more than happy um, waiting for us to nick goals 1-0, 2-0. You know, I don't mind results being like that. I don't mind our next five games being five 1-0 wins. I don't mind that. But we've got to defend well as a team, and that's what we're not doing. And... That was one of the major problems last season. It was we couldn't defend. Yes, we had an injury crisis, which didn't help the situation. But we're not defending well. Now, if this system which Edwards wants to play relies on certain players, that straight away is a problem for me. Because those certain players may not be fit for all season, for the whole season. You need to play a system or formation, whatever it is you want to call it, where if a player gets injured, you can do a like-for-like -like sub quite easily and you can still play the exact same way. That's how streamlined the system needs to be. So that's what needs to start happening as well. Because I've come to terms that at Luton Town Football Club, not everyone's going to be fit at the same time. So that straight away needs to happen. I think once we get that sorted, we streamline everything, go back to basics. That's how I can see Luton start improving and getting better. And even the players are saying it as well. Rhys Burke came out against Sheffield United and proved and said exactly those words. We need to show some fight, show some passion and do the basics right. The perfect opportunity to do that is in a game against your rivals. In a game that is basically a must not lose. Because if you lose it, it's a long day for everyone. It really is. And that, a good result against Watford could honestly kickstart our season properly. I thought the win against Millwall was the one that was going to kickstart our season. Of course, that hasn't happened. But a win against your rivals and then a game quickly after, which is against Sunderland midweek, you put in the same performance as you do in a in a rivalry game where you get a positive result, you're looking at a potential another positive result against one of the best teams that's in the league at the moment in Sunderland. So look, that could really boost momentum. It could boost confidence. But that only happens if you streamline everything back again. And I really hope during this international break, that's exactly what Edwards, the coaching team, the players have all done Yes, one or two have picked up knocks from this international break, but you can streamline it. I don't care if it's a four at the back against Watford. I don't care if it's a five, three, whatever. We need to streamline everything back and try and improve results. Realistically, I do not want to change a manager. However, if this carries on, I think we all agree, you've got to make a change somehow because this can't continue. This squad is not bottom half championship material. I don't think it is. I think it is quite good. I don't. Th I think it's also too early to judge the recruitment. I think you need to give new players a season. I think it's far too early. But Edwards, look, you've had your time. You've had your preparation. Although I do think it was a poor preparation to the season. You how this is up to you now. And in football, you earn your time. And you earn your time by winning games of football. My opinion of Edwards can change easily if he starts winning games of football. I will then be like, you know what? Put my hands up. I was wrong about him. But I can only do that if he starts winning games. I can't do that if he carries this on. 
Only he can change it. He picks the team. He chooses the personnel. He chooses the shape. He chooses what he wants to do. I understand what he's trying to do. But I just don't think you can do that with these group of players. And if he wants to eventually try and do that, then he's going to need a few more transfer windows. But the only way you get a few more transfer windows and you try and do what you're trying to do is by earning your time in football and winning games. So that's how I want to leave it. I did ask a lot of you guys on Twitter, also known as X, what your opinions were of what's currently happening and I thought I'd just read some of those tweets out because quite a few of you did get back to me. Back to back, uh, back to basics with the formation and instructions. 100% agree. Back to back, we're back to back, uh, back to basics. We have a better squad than we did in the 22-23 season which is correct in my opinion. Just got to go back to that. Ditch whatever we're trying but failing to do. Yes. 100%. Another one. He needs to play Morris and Adebayo together. Centrally. Um, they both bring the best out of each other. I do agree with that. They can bring the best out of out each other sometimes. Go back to a 3-5-2. Play with three centre mids. Elijah, Morris playing up top together. Stop playing out from the back. Look. That could also be one way of doing it. Square pegs in square holes. Back to basics. Play players in their positions, get more physical, and get the players to look like they care. We need more possession, more passing accuracy, and more end product. Need to play more aggressively. No overplaying from goal kicks. Variation on set plays, that's very important as well. Set plays, we were so dangerous at set pieces in the Premier League. But so far this season, we haven't quite been the same. It's been really predictable. Get the players to run through brick walls for us, for the football club, for the badge. They're currently not doing it. That's true as well. So, that's what you guys are saying on, online. And let's hope that Edwards can not listen to what we're saying, but try and do that. Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he was told that he needs to do that. And just like what the fans were singing at Sheffield United after the game, Edwards, Edwards, sort it out. And that's what I'm going to end this video on. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below on what you think Edwards needs to do. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video when I... Actually, I don't know when, it, when that's going to be. Probably Monday. See you on Monday.